Hey! Another episode of Leezy's Life. Lately, the schedule has been crazy busy. Just had a show last week, had to handle that, and then I also have been working hard on my new business. I just started a social media agency doing ads for e-commerce businesses. So I've been working on that a lot, and it's crazy, the last couple months, I haven't been making as much new music. So I've been working on mixing a lot of songs because I have a lot of songs that are like totally done, written, and recorded, but that weren't mixed. Like when I say a ton, I had like 30 songs literally, or like 25 songs. I need to get back to mixing and like finishing and putting out these songs. That's what I'm doing. And I haven't been like, yo, let's make a beat from scratch type stuff. Like yesterday I worked on something with the homie Gabe, but like I haven't been doing that a lot consistently. So that's kind of something I want to do today. We're going to get after it. We're going to get in the studio. So I kind of want to just break down for you. Like also what I'm, what I'm going to have going on too. I'm really excited about a new campaign I'm going to be running. It's called Peaceful Fridays. It's a brand new single every single week for the last three months of 2021 kind of fourth quarter want to finish the year off strong i've wanted to do a song a week for a really long time but never have and i've been able to do it but i just haven't done it i wanted to do it for more than just like one month you know and i've wanted i don't i never have had the capacity to quite do it for a year so i was like damn i need an extended amount of time where i feel like i could really put out a brand new single every single week and i thought you know what i got about 25 songs that are totally recorded that i just need to mix that i'm really happy with and i could take a bunch of those and put them out for the, every week for the last three months now why is it called peaceful fridays well the clothing brand that i have is called peaceful leaders i haven't put out any merch officially yet i've just done a few pre-orders but i will have some merch coming up for you soon essentially what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to build something here like a movement with every movement you know if you've noticed this through time through history Every movement has kind of a religious aspect to it. And with every religion, there's one day a week, not every religion, but a lot of major religions like Christianity, Catholicism, Judaism, you know, Islam, there's a day every week or they have holidays. So for me, I'm thinking, all right, let's do it like this. Let's make it every Friday, the last three months of the year, October, November, December. And I think that I could make it a tradition. I'm not going to commit to saying I'm going to do it every year, but I'm going to start it this year, Peaceful Fridays. The other meaning behind it too, it's kind of got a special meaning to it. So peace, peaceful leaders. Why did I call my clothing brand that? What's the point of that? I'm obviously all about leadership, you know, setting an example through your work, through setting an example and also using your words in a positive way and your actions in a positive way to impact the world. And I've always been somebody who has wanted to be a leader and who's always looked up to other leaders, but I look up to leaders who do things in a peaceful way. Peaceful meaning, nonviolent. You know, I wanna be able to have a movement where all of us are peaceful leaders. You know what I mean? Leaders that stand up. Peace comes from strength. You have to, listen, it's easier to get angry and upset and throw a temper tantrum than it is to be calm and be peaceful. So the reason I say peaceful leaders is because it takes a lot of strength to be peaceful. It takes a lot of strength to be calm. It takes a lot of strength to be grounded and centered. You know what I mean? It obviously takes a lot of strength to be a leader as well. So that's why I call it Peaceful Leaders. So why Peaceful Fridays? Well, it's just the name of the clothing brand. No, listen, if you want peace, you gotta go through tough times. Why? First of all, it contrasts, you know, the, the tough times contrast the peace. So when you go through a really rough time, when that rough time is over, it feels like you're in a time of peace. That's why we're calling it Peaceful Fridays for, that's one reason. The other reason is because I wanna shake up the game. You know, putting out a song a week, like there's artists who have done it, obviously. You know, Russ has done it. A lot of other artists have done it. I haven't gotten to do it myself. So for me, it's shaking up the game for me and it's gonna cause me some peace because, you know, the, the goal obviously is to gain a lot of momentum in terms of growing the fan base and marketing and stuff like that. Obviously I have a marketing plan for how I'm gonna put out each song, but at the end of the day, when you put out that much content, you kinda just need to put it out there, promote it to your warm audience, and just get after it and then try to get cold audiences in, in, in the same way too. Don't worry about the marketing plan. I've got that all covered. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I think at this point I have enough marketing expertise to be able to make something really effective happen. So anyways, Peaceful Fridays is gonna be coming up. October 1st is the first song and I'm actually featured on a song uh, with the homie Agent 26 and the next week, I think, what about October 8th? And then so yeah, so all October I got the songs already uploaded, ready to go. November, got two of the songs uploaded. I gotta just finish mixing those and whatever. And then December, I gotta start working on those. So what I'm gonna do today though is like, I have a lot of songs I've been mixing and working on. I've been doing a lot of mixing and mastering recently. So I wanna just make a beat today, just have some fun, you know, get creative, 
I just haven't done that in a while. Not really sure exactly how I'm feeling. I definitely feel like rapping, not like singing or anything like that. So we're gonna make a song. Let's get after it. Uh, hold up. This is a no-brainer, of course. Gotta get the candle vibes right. My girl got me this candle. She knows me. She knows me well. Oh my gosh, bro! I love candles. Mm. My girl knows me so well. Hey, if you're if you're a guy, you know, and you're into girls, which is cool if you're not, by the way, but. I'm just saying if you are. Get you a girl who treats you right, man. Like, real talk. And obviously treat your girl right. Obviously. Obviously. But sometimes I feel like in society, Whoa. big talk. Sometimes I feel like in society, there's a lot of pressure on just men to treat their ladies right, and there's not, there's not always that reciprocation. Get you a girl that treats you right, man. She'd get me a candle, you know? All right, I found a sample that I really like. I'll play you the sample. This is my kind of vibe. Got a fast pace to it, great melody, epic, you know, this is definitely an easy to get to type thing. The thing that I always struggle with is, do I leave the sample exactly how it is or do I kind of chop it up? There's this stupid pressure that I have to like chop it because I'm like, well, I don't want to just steal the sample, even though I'm totally allowed to take that loop. And my brother Gabe, or I love my brother Gabe, because he is the kind of guy who teaches me how to create without thinking about stupid stuff like that. He's like, do you like it? the way it is, I'm like, yeah. He's like, well then why do you need to chop it? Don't worry about all that other stuff. I'm like, you're right. So I like this the way it is. There we go. Take a little bit of low end out. I mean, this is insane. I'm gonna add a vocal sample and we're in B minor, which I love B minor. I love the chord, the scale. B minor is one of my favorite directions to go. I love B minor. <laughs> oh god dang it dang it we'll call the song right here save it man command s save your songs man throw like maybe a pad that's fire i think it's time for the drums i think it's time for the 808 birds Bro, I am feeling this beat right now. I'm feeling this. That bass was going so crazy, the air from the speakers literally was hitting me in the face. Yo, for all my producers out there, don't you love when you're picking your sounds? and you don't take that long to pick the sound, you just find the sound and you're like, yup, that's it. That's like me every single time. <laughs> Producer, I got a good trick for you that my again my brother Gabe man He inspires a lot of my production when you do your hi-hats change the velocity of some of them The velocity means when you hit the note with a certain amount of like pressure and strength It's gonna sound like full blast But when you when you change the velocity some of them are gonna sound kind of like different volumes When a hi when hi-hats hit, you know, they're really frequent. They're like There's a lot of them, right? So when you change the velocity of them, it kind of gives it a little bit more of a bounce. So I like to change the velocity now because Gabe told me to do that. And I'm just kind of doing it randomly, to be honest with you. And then I like to throw a little delay on the hi-hats even. I think we're good. I'd like to do this. Take it back my freedom. 
devil and an angel on my shoulders like a threesome Changing like the seasons, never giving any reasons Out of body on that stage, letting go of all my demons Wow, watch the journey, not able to hurt me Complaining never gets you mercy In the Raptors, see my jersey, not to worry Got it handled, team dismantled Couldn't keep up with the switching channels Burned out like some candles Day in the life, but couldn't fit my sandals They just vandals, mural of my last supper Bunch of bosses at my panel What's freedom of speech if you just gettin' cancelled? Speak your truth or hold it in, that's the daily gamble So far that's what I got I'll come up with a chorus real quick And then I'll record everything, let's go Feet on the ground, taking back my freedom Devil and an angel on my shoulders like a threesome Changing like the seasons, never giving any reasons Out of body on that stage, letting go of all my demons Wow, watch the journey not able to hurt me, complaining never get you mercy In the Raptors, see my jersey, not to worry Got it handled, team dismantled, couldn't keep up with the switching channels Burned out like some candles Day in the life, but couldn't fit my sandals They just vandals, mural of my last supper Bunch of bosses on my panel What's freedom of speech if you just getting cancelled? Speak your truth or hold it in, that's a daily gamble Feet on the ground, I'm always gonna hold it down Was lost but now I've been found, the pressure don't make me drown Flexing in front of the crowd, they love progress, I take a bow Blow your mind and ask me how it's right here, right now It's right here, right now by myself just doing my thing and it's great to have people like yourself watching and joining me on the journey it's amazing if you like what you just saw like the video and and, and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell everything man you know a lot of people have that call to action at the beginning of the video i wait till the end because i want i want you to stay to the end first because how do i know how do you know if you get value from me till the end so make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video and share it with somebody all right appreciate you so much for tuning in to just my life this is another episode of Lizzie's Life. I'm going to see you next week. Peace.